What's up, YouTube? It's finally here. Let's go. Uh, the GA110 JOP One Piece has finally arrived. It was a little delayed. I was a little afraid because I, I uh, pre-ordered this watch and um, I got an email from Casio saying that it was back order. So I was um, afraid that they weren't, they weren't gonna be able to uh, fulfill their promise or their orders. But yet here it is. It was released on July 22nd of 2020 across the world, um, UK, Japan, USA, um, and Europe, some of Europe. And here it is, very limited quantities. Unfortunately, um, this morning it released in UK and it sold out in pretty much a few minutes. So glad to have it. It's finally arrived and I wanted to get you guys a review as soon as possible. Bear with me as I open this baby up and we'll go through some of the fine details of this timepiece. Um, I want to kind of hide the label there, but let's pop this baby open. Let's unbox it and then talk about some of these um, awesome details of this watch together and bear with me i want to apologize in advance to all you one piece fans i am not i'm going to be honest i don't watch the series but i've known of the one pieces since the earlier releases of the the uh one piece collaborations with g-shock and when i found out they were doing a new release i jumped right on it i was super excited here it is yeah buddy Let's go. GA110 JOP-184. I believe it is, right? 184. One piece collaboration. Here is the box. Let's start there. Now, this box, I was I got to admit is a little plain to my liking. I usually like full on decorative boxes and tins and watches and back plates and backlights just to give it the full effect. But with this one, I'll make an exception because of all the other details that they've incorporated into this timepiece. On the box, you have the one piece um, cross bowls there, cross bones on the box. Then you have the G-Shock one piece and started right off the bat, you have this cool X, which not only represents the crossbones of the One Piece, known as pirates, you know, the, the One Piece pirate um, theme, but it's also the X for collaboration. So I think that was a pretty neat little detail. G-Shock X One Piece right there. All right. The black, the box itself, like I said, is plain black. Then inside here you have your module 5146, which I am truly in love with, guys. This thro throws me back to the days when G-Shock was in full force and releasing all those great DW6900 modules and the 5146 GA110 collaborations. Oh, this throws me way back when it was fully popping. And I think they're making the right moves in that direction here is the tin can once again the g-shock x one piece with the x crossbones detail and then also displayed on the box or the tin itself here's some little dust ignore that look at that g-shock x one piece oh yeah buddy all right but let's get to it let's see what's inside here let's see what all the fuss is about oh you guys, I, please, if you get, if you have an opportunity, if you find this watch, it retails for $250. So unfortunately, the price is only probably going to get more expensive um, than that. So if you have an opportunity, please, please cop this piece. Don't miss out. It, I think it only will appreciate in value, but rightfully so. This watch is absolutely amazing. Here it is. The G-Shock One Piece Luffy designed G-Shock watch. Now there's a lot going on on this watch and we'll go through that momentarily, but just absorb all this detail now. All right, and let's get started. Let's go. All 
right, here we go. The GA110 G-Shock One Piece JOP-184 module, $250 USD. I think it was like 220 um, euros in other countries, whatever. But in US, it was $250. This was released on July 22nd. It was freshly released. I got it literally the 23rd. And I uh, recorded this video, did some research because I wanted to be as thorough as possible without letting you One Piece fans out there down. But if I miss something, please, please leave it a, a comment in the description or sorry, leave a comment of what I miss, what details I miss that make this watch so fantastic. Because I appreciate all the things that I miss. There'll be more, more details that pop out and you guys will capture that I probably miss. So... Let's start off with the design on the bezel here. You have this beautiful gold inlay hour marker and minute marker on the watch. So without scratching the watch here, let's try to see if I identify those things that I'm referring to. You can see here the um, hour hand and the minute hand right there has the gold, beautiful accents. And then you have here this indicator there that's also gold what's beautiful about this watch is that once the hour hand reaches the two o'clock position right here which i want to say about one o'clock right position and the minute hand which is the 20 22 oh 120 p.m or a.m when the minute hand reaches the 20 minute marker you get this x gold x which represents again the G-Shock One Piece, um, I guess want to say the treasure, right? The X marks the treasure or, or whatnot. So it's a cool detail and I'll show you that right now. There we go. I'm setting the time to 120 just for test purposes. And boom, there you have the X. Now I'll stand corrected. It does not represent the One Piece treasure chest. It represents the scar on Luffy's chest um, that some people have um, argued that either Zoro or uh, Akainu, I think his name is, gave it to him during the fight. So that X represents the damage or the scar on Luffy's chest. And that's an awesome little detail. Awesome little detail about this watch that uh, a lot of people may not notice or, or recognize or figure out. But here we go. Here we have it. Then also you have on the three o'clock position, you have the wanted there. And then another little subtle detail, which I think is absolutely crucial, is that straw hat there on that marker. You see that? Luffy's little straw hat can be found right yonder. <laughs> I'm so giddy. It's so stupid, but it's so much fun. I think they did a great job. Then you have these awesome, nice little disc markers on the 12, 3, 6, and 9 o'clock positions, which I think are neat. Nice little red accent there. Then you have the um, polish markers throughout the dial, which I think are gorgeous. All right. Then the second indicators throughout the dial are red detail, red color right there. You see the little... One, two, three, four, five, so forth. All those little markers 
are red. Okay, you got the Casio floater on the bottom there. G-Shock resist, split reset for the timer. All right, and it got this beautiful gold um, protection fonts on the bezel there, forward, reverse, G-Shock adjust and mold. And trust me, these are so beautiful in person. I'm trying to capture that on the video here. As you can see there, absolutely stunning. I know you're probably kicking yourself like, why didn't I get this one? Why didn't I know any sooner? All right, there you have it. The backlight is not that awesome. I, the GA110 has never had a great backlight, but I think it does a great job with this particular model because of all the reflective material and the design of the actual display that make it pop, make it, you get a lot of um, cool, the the, um, the Luffy hat there shows and wanted, and it just looks pretty cool. I think they did a great job regardless of the, um, how the light itself works. I think they did a great job in uh, making this watch pop. All right, so now let's talk about the actual details of the band. And this is gonna be a little complicated, so bear with me, let's go. All right, so the bands themselves are supposed to represent a comic strip, kind of a kind of a comic strip, like Spider-Man and whatnot, as it flows through, it tells, like a storyboard, it tells a story of what's going on. And this particular storyboard, of this comic strip, is supposed to depict um, Luffy in mid-fight, kind of transforming or, um, I don't know, fighting in a sequence here. And I'll show you each one. There's five different pictures depicted on this band, and I think it's pretty neat. And it's hard to see. It took me a while to kind of um, see what was done here. And Cassio did a hel helpful job in showing on their website all five pictures that are depicted on this strap on the bands itself. Now, let's start off with the first one. Here you have Luffy. And um, I'll show a picture on the right side here of the screen. It's supposed to be his face here. This is his eye. Here's his hair kind of um, on his face there. And it's hard to see, but the colors are inverted compared to that of the images displayed, displayed by Casio. So this is on the right there. His face, you can see exactly what it is. But it's like the opposite side of his face, his eyes, and his hair. That's the first picture. Moving on, the second picture here is Luffy once again. Um, this is what is shown on the picture there. It's his fist kind of flowing or, or punching in our direction. Here's his face, his left, left arm kind of towards and uh, thrown up in the air and his right fist throwing a punch. All right. Moving on. This is the hardest one. I still don't know if I got this one, one correct. It could be two different things. It could be uh, Luffy's six pack here. And also showing the X here, this this the, his um, scar on his chest, which I think is more than likely the case, because you have this scar there, there, right? That depicts the scar on his chest, or it could be his fist there that's shown also on the picture. Now, what do you guys think? Do you think it's his scar, or do you think it's actually his fist that is being thrown? Now, again, the colors are inverted, so it's different from the image shown on Casio, but I think. Um, Personally, I think it's his, uh, the scar on his chest. Moving on to the fourth image. Here you see Luffy with his head bent down. Like the image on the right there that I'm showing you guys. His head bent down. And once again, the colors are inverted to kind of, um, I don't know if it's to fool us or to kind of give it a little bit difference to differentiate, differentiate from that of the image that's portrayed on the Casio page. And then lastly, you have once again Luffy um, yelling, his mouth open, his face, um, it's kind of hard to see, but if you guys can see it there, you can see his ear right there. And this one's actually upside down, I believe. There we go. So here's Luffy's face, his hair, and then he has his ear and his mouth wide open. And this was pretty clear when you turn it upside down to that of the Casio um, image displayed on page. Now to continue, we'll show you the back plate here. Once again, nice little detail here. You got the G-Shock X One Piece 5146 module GA110 JOP Japanese movement 5146 module. Okay. Nothing there other than the back bands. 
Okay, you got the Casio on the buckle there. Just be warned, I'm kind of showing a lot of details because I have a feeling this one will be copied, replicated. Um, so be careful not to buy any fraudulent or copies of this watch. So I have a feeling they'll be coming very soon with all the demand and the hype. One Piece is a uh, Japanese series that it's about a little boy, of course, his name is uh, Luffy, and he wants to be the infamous Pirate King, right? That's what his goal is. And he goes on this adventure to find the treasure that they call One Piece. And in that process, he meets a lot of cool friends and he they join his uh, his gang and his uh, pirate ship and they go out on a lot of adventures. They meet a lot of uh, villains and they fight and whatnot. So um, that's the storyline in a nutshell. Of course, I am not doing it justice. This series has been along, around for about 20 years. And if I wanted to catch up in order to make this video, it would be impossible, guys. So I wanted to get this out to you guys as soon as possible and get as much details as possible without um with, with doing the watch justice and hopefully you guys appreciate that i know there's a lot of videos already out there of this watch but i wanted to kind of take it a little step further give you some background information show you all the details and kind of give you a better presentation hopefully you appreciate that please smash that like button it means so much to me it only takes one second out of your time, little effort, but to me, it makes the world of a difference. It shows me that you're out there, that you're watching, and that you appreciate it. And of course, it helps the um, algorithm for YouTube, and it pushes my videos out there to uh, other viewers and gets my um, channel growing. So I truly, I truly appreciate that. One last time, let's take a look at this, and I'll do a macro view of this watch to see if I can capture more details than I haven't already done so, if I haven't already done so. All right? Let's check that out now. Let's go. And there you guys have it. 
Thanks so much, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I am truly think that they knocked this collaboration out of the ballpark. The anticipation was great, and they met my expectations. Till next time, this is Chicago. How at you, boy. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, I'm out of here, guys. Peace. Go get it. I'm rocking my G-Shot, 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 I'm rocking my G-